All right, guys, what's going on? Today, I want to go over a foam rolling, what I do pretty much every time before I work out. Get a lot of questions on what do you do for foam roller, how do you use it, what are the best ways to use it. And so today, I just want to go over an easy way for you to be able to use a foam roller in about five, six different exercises, all right? What's going on guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. First thing I do all the time is I begin with the back. So I start with the back, good mobility. Get my middle of my back about shoulder width, right? Get about right here. Give you a little bit more. Put my hands behind my head. And I'm coming down. Try to get my hands to touch the ground. Now, most of the time, you're not gonna be as flexible. So you're gonna be the first three times, right? It's gonna be hard. Just like the first three times with anything. You're gonna keep going and you're gonna keep getting better. So right here, you might start off with right here, right? This might really hurt, it might really be tense. It's okay, just breathe. Start deep a little lower, right? Try to get a little deeper. A little deeper. And eventually, you wanna get your hands to be touching the ground. Breathe in. Breathe out, come up. Now I'll do that about three reps. So that's the first one I do. The second one I do is the same thing. I just lift my hips from this position, okay? So I lift my hips, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna now roll what I just pretty much try to get a little active, try to get a little warmed up. I'm now gonna roll it out. So I lift my hips and roll it out my back here. Not much, see, I'm just going to my shoulders and then coming back to my middle of my back. Not going that deep down to my lower back, which is gonna Overextend my lumbar spine, so you want to keep everything in the mid back. Go up to your shoulders, you can go up as far, far, far as your traps, but don't go lower than your mid back, right? On the lower part of your lats. Come back up. Now, to make this more difficult, sometimes if your back is good, this, you won't feel anything here. To make this more difficult, what you can do is cross your arms, and what that will do is pretty much open up all your back muscles, so when you roll it out, you'll feel that a lot more. So. As I'm coming up, I don't feel this. I'm gonna go ahead and hug myself. Now, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This one you're gonna feel a lot more, especially going to your trap area. Oh, oh yeah. Once I'm done with that back, uh, rolling out, I'll go to my lats. So this, you're gonna wanna, right in your armpit, right? Right in your lat, right where that starts is where you're gonna to wanna to put the pad. Now what I do in my bottom leg, so the leg that's on the ground is I kick that straight, right? Straight to the outside, and I'm bending the one that's on the opposite side. So if, my, if I'm rolling out my right lat, my left leg's gonna be bent. From here, I'm gonna lift my hips from my bottom foot, right? I'm gonna push through this foot, lift my hips, roll out, come back in, pulling with this leg. Coming in, pulling. To make it easier, so that's harder to make it easier, you can also bend this leg a little bit, so you can kind of push with both legs. Um, this one will make it a little harder because you're only pushing on one, it's going to put more weight on your lap. So kind of play with it, see what works for you, see how, you know, you'll probably progress into, you know, this, where you're rolling out with both feet, into this, where you can really put weight on that lat. You'll probably just progress into that. Now the lats are really tricky because some people have really tight lats, like really, really bad, like, this guy right here a little bit ago. So I couldn't even do that to start. I could not even lift my leg, right, and do that because it was so painful. So what I started with, and you can start with this as well, is just taps. So you're gonna put the foam roll under your armpit, you come here, you're gonna tap your hand, and you're gonna tap the ground on this side. Come and tap. I still kind of feel it right there. But pretty much what that's doing, is you're just slightly rolling out your lat without having to go full on rolling it out. It's just a little twist. 
which will start to open it up. And then as you get better, as you progress, then you can start kind of rolling out the lap. So that's the third thing I do. After that, after that's pretty much the back done, I go to my lower body. Now the lower body is very simple. I don't want to complicate things. There's probably tens and hundreds of different ways that you can foam roll your legs. I just do these three, four sometimes. Glutes, real easy. Whatever glute you want to roll out is the leg that you want to bend. I'm gonna say it again. So the, the glute that you want to roll out is the leg that you want to bend over here, all right? So I'm, this leg is a supporter. This leg's gonna be pushing me and pulling me and also supporting my ankle. So from here, I'm going to find where on my glute is the most pain, right? So I'm rolling out my glute, finding where's the most pain, which is right about here. Then I'm gonna hold, breathe, breathe out. And once I'm done with the glute, then I go to the inner quad, or the, uh, the front of the quad. So one leg at a time. I'm gonna cut this thing in half. So I'm gonna bring it over here. And then what I wanna do is have this leg be my supporter and this leg just be on the foam roller like so. From here, put my hands out here like I'm doing a plank. I'm gonna roll out. Again, this is gonna be supporting me, kind of pushing me through my knee. And from here, just like a plank, with my elbows coming, roll it out. Back is straight, I'm not like here. I'm not like this. Back is straight. You really want to put as much weight as you can on that quad, okay? Coming out, as far as your hip flexor, coming back up to about the top of the knee. Five, 10 rolls. Then I go to the inner quad. You need one leg at a time. Now this one's tricky, so pay attention. This one, if I just roll out like this, I'm not gonna feel that much, right? Going this way, there's not much gravity going this way. So what you want to think about is you want to push your knee down to the ground. So as you're rolling out, my knee is pushing down to the ground so I can add some force. So when I roll out, it's actually gonna roll out the muscle in my inner quad. If I'm just gonna go straight back and forth, there's not enough gravity pulling my leg down there. There's not enough weight. So you have to really think about pushing that knee down to the ground. Another way to make this more difficult is by just extending your foot out. So you extend the foot out, that's gonna initially add more leverage, right? Just the leverage of the foot, so it's gonna push more gravity, more weight. All the way into the hip flexor, all the way back to the top of the knee. And once I'm done with the front quad, inner quad, and glutes, those are the three main ones that I do. And the last, the fourth one, is the IT band, all right? IT band is the one that I think we all know. Hit, right? So if you lift your knee up like this, it'd be like this point right here that stays still, this little, bone right there. So you're gonna think about right below that. You don't wanna be on that, you wanna be right below that. The leg that you're rolling out, you want completely straight. And then from there, you're just gonna roll up to the top of the knee. Yeah, right to the top of the knee. Right to that spot where we started, kinda of upper thigh. Upper quad, upper thigh. Down the bottom of the knee, upper thigh. And this one will hurt again in the beginning. You will progress, you will feel like it will be getting better. Uh, but the first couple times, guys, I promise the foam roller is gonna, gonna feel a little painful. You're not gonna wanna do it, you're not gonna wanna consistently do it, but do it every day, all right? The foam roller, I don't say to do a lot every day. The foam roller is something I would recommend 99% of you to do every day. Uh, it's gonna make you more mobile, it's gonna open up a lot more, you know, stress in your muscles, because there's a lot of stress. You know, we're sitting down all day, we're laying down all day, we're going home on the couch all day, so our legs are tight. Just rolling them out, rolling out our body. is gonna make you more mobile. If you feel stiff, if you feel like you're getting old, this is gonna youthify you, all right? I don't even know if that's a word, but if it isn't, I just made it up, youthify. Try the foam roller, guys, coachmalik.com. If this video helped you, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with a friend, because I'm sure a friend could definitely be using some, some foam roller tips, so. Uh, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.